You alright guys and girls, this is Vortex and I'm back with Roscoe, say hello son. Hello everyone. Yes, and me and Roscoe are back with part two of Banff Nostalgia. Part two. Yes, yes, and as you can tell this is the second online version of Call of Duty on the PlayStation 3. Call of Duty World at War. War. Yes. This was this was the first Treyarch game online before Mr. Vanderhaar got an extremely fucking big head and decided he was going to be an Xbox fanboy. But we won't go into that, will we, Ross? No, we won't. That's no. a whole different subject. No. Yes, there's a whole different subject that we will discuss at some point with the fact that he is a fat toy. But <laughs> on the plus side, now I do start off very, 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 very shit, and I do die quite a lot. I think I die four or five times at the beginning before I actually get a kill. But um, this is the only lobby that I could find in an hour and a half that wasn't hacked. And I finished on something like 24 for 10. And I got a set of attack dogs and artillery. I would have had two sets of dogs, but some prick was sat in a corner with a shotgun. <laughs> Every Call of Duty, there's always someone sat in a corner with a, with a shotgun. Yes. Not quite as bad as the new one with someone sat in a corner with a shotgun. No. But that is for us to discuss when we get round to Black Ops 2. So we hope you enjoyed mine and Roscoe's video last week from COD 4. I did, it's quite nice anyway. It's quite, it is good to play the old ones again. Relive your youth. Yes, well, so well this, 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 this isn't so much reliving my youth, this is a learning curve for me because I've never played fucking World at War. Exactly, David. <laughs> So at least I can adapt and go back to old games and even though I do, I mean look at the lag there man, the geezer just fucking bounces around me. But I do get a recon plane out of it, how the fuck I killed him I don't know as, you, as you've just seen. But yeah it's, it, was, it was quite nice to go back and play something different than like Black Ops and the Modern Warfares and stuff. It's, it's, it's a well balanced game and it's so short and sweet as well. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like quite cool, like, just like three kills. I think I've said before. Call of Duty will only ever improve its lag once they get dedicated servers, which they'll never do because they say it costs too much money. Which but it's, it's which not. As soon as they make millions and millions of pounds on us. Exactly, and it's, it's six of one and half a dozen of the other. It's like the, the the main the main the main problem with what what's happened with the last two Call of Duties is the lag compensation. Mm -hmm. It's like I was I was playing a game the other day and it was like. I was flying, I was absolutely flying, and then someone joined, and you could feel the con everybody on the team turn around and said to me, they felt the connection drop. Yeah. And it, it, it what they should do is, is, is like when they used to do it on, I, I know for a fact they used to do it on Counter Strike, where they'd have T1 and T2 lobbies, which was the type of internet they had in America. So if you're on a slower internet, you'd go into a, you'd be set up, you'd be segregated. No, I think that's what you mean. No, I think or that's what the segregation is. So if you're a shit player, you will still be a shit player. Yeah. Yeah, rather than me going from like a fucking, like an half decent KD on the last two Call of Duty's down to a 1.2, which is really disappointing for me. Yeah. Um, I mean, even on World at War, I've got just under a 2 KD on that, and that's just. No, I've only think I've played about 13, 14 games. Oh, pistol kill in the back! <laughs> But yeah, it's, this, this is the day before lag compensation because people were moaning. It's like, oh, you've got better internet than me. He kills me. Well, I should do. I pay for it. You don't. Stop <laughs> nicking your neighbour's Wi-Fi. When people like bouncing off McDonald's, the cloud Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's like, st oh, yeah, I'm going to steal my next door neighbour's internet. And then while they're downloading the latest fucking One Direction album, you're going to get your ass whooped. Thank you, assholes. Mm. But no, the, 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 it was it was quite a balanced game actually. World at War. I mean, I'm using a, a shit gun. I haven't got no attachments for. It. I don't know. It's the second gun you unlocked. I'm not even sure what it's called. I think it's an M40. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to quote myself. Yeah. It's an old. It's an old gun. It is an old. Gun. Yes. Anyway, we're at the end of the video, so we hope you enjoyed a little bit of nostalgia with with world at war and me and ross moaning and we shall catch you all next week for scooter on modern warfare 2 hopefully yeah see you later guys peace That's later.